So Avid releases Pro Tools 20, 21.3. Here's a complete list of bug fixes. Of course, we're not gonna go through it. It's a lot, but what I will do, I'll put it in the description if you're interested in reading that. Now, they did come up with something new. We'll talk about that in a sec. So right now we're gonna go over to this tab, compatibility chart. It shows you all the versions of Pro Tools and it shows you what versions of OS X and Windows that that specific version is compatible with. So this new version, finally compatible with 20 h2 now i had this installed and it was a disaster every time i closed pro tools it would just open up on its own it'll close on its own i'm currently not experiencing that anymore because what i ended up doing i went back to version 2004 uh build 19041 so what i ended up doing i blocked all microsoft update services so i'm not forced to update but now that this new version is out i'll probably take a look at it and before I do that, I'm going to image the drive. Now that's important because let's say something happens. It only takes me 10 minutes to restore my machine instead of spending all day reinstalling drivers, plugins, and software. So earlier I said that there was something new. Well, if we scroll down, it looks like IK Multimedia and Avid kind of have a partnership here and they're releasing some new plugins. But here's the thing. If you're on a subscription, you're going to get this. If you're like me, no love whatsoever. So I'm over at my Avid account. So how do you download this? You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna look for Pro Tools software updates with annual upgrades and support plan. So as long as you're up to date there, you should be able to download this. Just choose your version for Windows or Mac. 